Okay, I just wanted to show everybody this. This is the final rendering of my uh, 3D printed Brill Craft. And I wanted to show you, it's free flow and you can go one way there and one way there. It's going to work out good. Again, we'll put aluminum on this inside here. And on the outside here, I went ahead and I made these up. This is uh, just to show the size right here. This is what the coil size is going to be. And there's going to be stacked coils, so there's these ones here, and then inner ones as well. And I should be able to get them all the way around, but first I think I'm just going to set them in here like this. And get it to uh, go maybe on four corners, just make sure it's balanced, and it'll be good to go. I'll go ahead and take a look from the top so you can see exactly. Kind of fit right in there. We got a little bit of spacing once the aluminum goes in there to be a pretty tight fit. So just so you can see that, I went ahead and built this thing. So at the top, it locks in right there. It's got a bearing in there. There's also bearings in the top right here in the center. And there's spacers. I probably need to make the spacers a little thinner. This ring here and this ring here are separate just so they can hold the coils. I may have to duct tape it or put some uh, transformer tape right there for the heat. And then little lockers here to lock the top and bottom together. Everything will be glued together in the end. Uh, these two parts are separate right here, this part and this part. And obviously there's one more on the bottom. But I'm going to take those and put them together and glue them. These right here, I got two spools of coil right here. So we're going to go ahead and build those next. Uh, next time you see this, it should be up and running. So, I just kind of want to show this to everybody. It looks kind of cool right now. As you can see, it just spins pretty freely. I'm hoping the inside I can get it to spin the opposite way. Again, we're looking for counter rotation here. So, you know, if we can get it working one way and the other, I think it'll be cool. You can see pretty free flowing. So, I think this is a good fit. I think we're going to get somewhere with this. So, there you go. That's our real craft. And that's the last update I'm going to do before I have all the final parts put together. But I think it's pretty good. Uh, I promised 3D uh, print files to so the STL files. I'm going to attach this to my Thingiverse account. And you guys can go ahead and take a look at them. Download them, print them if you want to. Uh, whatever you want to do, but this is just a uh, start for anybody who wants to uh, get into this and has a 3D printer. Most of my prints were done on my CR10, and then I used my uh, CR10 S4, the bigger one, the 400 by 400 to just do this white ring you see here. All the rest of the other parts were done on a regular 310 by 310 CR10. So, just so you understand the size of it. But you can split this white one up however you want. I just wanted it to be bigger and consistent. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and take a look at the STLs. If I forgot anything, please let me know. But uh, hopefully next time you see this, we get some counter-rotation. Anyway, thanks for watching.